good afternoon. I'm Major Eugene Staniszewski from the New York State Police. I'm here with Major By or Mayor Brian Brown, Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia, and Erie County District Attorney John Flynn. Uh, earlier today, October 26, 2023, at approximately 11.11 a.m., troopers responded to a reported shooting on the 190 southbound, just south of exit 9. Uh, troopers arrived on scene to find three individuals that had been shot while traveling in a Buffalo Sewer Authority vehicle. All three individuals were Buffalo Sewer Authority employees. Buffalo Fire Department arrived on scene and rendered medical aid. Unfortunately, one of the individuals was fatally wounded. The two under, other individuals were transported to the Erie County Medical Center. Uh, one believed to have non-life-threatening injuries and the second was in serious condition. A pre preliminary investigation reveals that the shots were fired at the victim's vehicle from a late model, dark colored Jeep Grand Cherokee that was also traveling southbound on the 190. The victim's vehicle was struck multiple times. We have several leads that we are working on, but currently we do not have a motive for the shooting. This is believed to be an isolated incident and we have no information that there's a threat ongoing to the community. At this time, we are not releasing the names of the victims pending notifications. The state police are working closely with the Buffalo Police Department, the Erie County Crime Analysis Center, and the Erie County District Attorney's Office. If, you, if anyone out there has information regarding the shooting, including dash cam footage, we request that you contact the state police at 585-544-6200. And at this time, I will uh, bring up uh, Mayor Byron Brown for a few comments. Mayor. Thank you very much, Major Staniszewski. This is obviously another heartbreaking day in the city of Buffalo. It is particularly heartbreaking for the employees of the Buffalo Sewer Authority. Three of their co-workers shot while going about their day working on behalf of the residents of the city of Buffalo. Uh, today I had the opportunity to go and visit with about 150 employees of the Buffalo Sewer Authority uh, to show our concern, our heartbreak, our outrage for what happened to their co-workers, uh, to let them know that they would be supported and the families of their co-workers would be supported. After visiting with the employees of the Buffalo Sewer Authority, I went to visit the victims of this shooting at ECMC. I was able to speak with one of the individuals that was shot uh, and family members of both individuals who were shot. Obviously, uh, these families are shaken they're in pain, uh, they are in prayer, and I ask the entire community to pray for the families and the individuals that have been affected by this terrible, terrible crime. I also want to thank the New York State Police for the work that they are doing to solve this situation, and I also want to uh, recognize the work of the Buffalo Police who are working in partnership with the state police on this investigation. This is a state roadway, so uh, obviously the state police are the lead agency in this investigation. Things like this are all too commonplace now. Just last night, it was Lewiston, Maine, 18 people killed by a shooter. Um, who could have even imagined that something like this would happen to three sewer authority employees as they are at work doing the right thing, doing the people's business? This has to stop. At this time, uh, I want to introduce our Erie County District Attorney, John Flynn. Thank you, Mayor, and you used the correct word there, that this is 
outrageous. Uh, the outrageous conduct of some individual or individuals uh, acting uh, out on the throughway uh, and uh, shooting up uh, the vehicle of a Buffalo Sewer Department uh, employees. Uh, I, um, I want to uh, just let everyone know that the cooperation that is taking place uh, here uh, is typical of what happens in our community. Uh, it happened in the horrific shooting at Tops. Uh, it happens, quite frankly, every day in this community where local uh, and state uh, law enforcement agencies are working together uh, to solve and figure out who did this. Uh, as the mayor alluded to, uh, any crime that occurs uh, on a New York State thruway uh, is the jurisdiction of the New York State Police. Uh, however, the New York State Police uh, immediately called the Buffalo Police Department, immediately called our office, uh, and got all of us together right away uh, to uh, help uh, figure out uh, what happened here. The other main point that I want to make is what the Major alluded to uh, in his statement, that right now uh, we believe this is an isolated incident. We believe that there is no threat at all to the public. As we stand out here right now, you can see 80,000 people going to the Bills game here. On, on our throughways. Um, and at this time, we believe, like the Major said, uh, there is no uh, threat uh, to anyone else uh, and that this was an isolated incident. Uh, I can already anticipate some of your questions, but I'm not going to go any further than that. Uh, I'm not going to comment at all on whether or not we have a suspect. I'm not going to comment at all on whether or not we have a motive. I'm not going to comment at all on why this happened. Um, We've given you some information on how this happened, but that's as far as we're going to go uh, because we are actively in the process of figuring out who did this and finding them and bringing them to justice. And again, uh, my thoughts and prayers uh, go out to the family, uh, the family of the deceased, uh, their lo his loved ones, uh, the family of the individual, two individuals uh, who were shot, uh, them and their families as well. Uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to them uh, as well as to the entire community of the Buffalo Sewer Department. And I also want to thank the state police and the Buffalo Police Department for uh, everything that they've done and that they are doing. At this time, we believe there were three. Yes, sir. We have no information that they're linked at all. All three workers were on the clock. Uh, it's my understanding they had just completed a job and were heading back to the Buffalo Sewer Authority. Uh, they, they, they were driving when the shooting occurred. I spoke to the driver. The driver was, was hit. Uh, the driver tried to evade uh, the shooting, uh, but the driver was hit and the two passengers were hit as well. Were there any other cars that were on the scene trying to get their hit Major. as well or anything like that? Any crossfires? No, the only, just one vehicle involved and uh, when we arrived on scene, um, just the, the three victims. No, we did not have any witnesses that stopped at the scene at the time. Numerous times. We're working on that. We have several leads that we're running down now. Uh, we're not going to get into the information on the victims right now until we're sure that the families have all been notified. Um, this 
still a very active investigation. We, we just opened up the roadway probably less than an hour ago, so I have not had a time to uh, sit down and talk with the responding members and investigators. I'm not going to get into the right now. Uh, the members of the sewer authority are clearly very emotional, very shaken, in pain. There were tears. Uh, one employee told a story about uh, what good people these individuals were. Uh, and the individual whose life was taken, what a good employee that person was, what a caring person uh, that individual was, uh, and the pain uh, that was felt by the loss of that individual. Uh, again, uh, I've been asked not to disclose the, um, the sex of the workers. That is, that is a tragedy, that uh, three people went to work, were working, uh, did their jobs, and uh, their lives are altered forever, and one had their life taken. Oh, murder, um, uh, one count of murder and two counts of attempted murder. Reck reckless endangerment, uh, I, I can add on a lot, trust me. Well, it's here. Any any time you have um, a, a situation where uh, the other vehicle that was involved um, is not present or found, you got to find it. Um, and so you look at everything that's there. You look at cameras. You talk to witnesses. Uh, you, 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 you go on social media and use tools that you have on, on social media. And so, you know, I mean, it's there. All 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 crime scenes have their own complexity. Some are more more difficult than others, but. Listen here, we have the Buffalo Police Department, the Erie County Crime Analysis Center, the state police. We have the best and the brightest on this. They do not. Based on some of the leads that we're working on, uh, we believe it's uh, that there's no ongoing threat to the community. We're working very closely with the Buffalo Police Department. Um, the, we're, we are looking in various areas throughout the, the city uh, to see if we can come across this vehicle. Possibly. Yes, correct. The other vehicle was also traveling southbound on the 190, so the scene on the 190 was a little bit of a distance, and that's why we had to close the roadway down. We are certainly looking for any assistance. If there was any vehicles on the on the 190 at that time that, that did witness this, or if they have a dash cam video and they were in the area of the 190 at around uh, you know 11 11 a.m., we would certainly request that they contact us, and we will send someone out to speak with them regarding their information. I'm not going to get into the specifics of the round, but we had our forensic investigation unit out. We also have our violent crimes task force out, along with the Buffalo Police Department. They were heavily involved with this investigation at the scene and as it on goes in the city. 
Yes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Good job, man.